Hi guys, today we're going to make up a ifi. Um, a lot of people know this as ekme as well in Greece. So I hope you enjoyed this one because everyone has been requesting it and I finally found some kata ifi so we can get it done. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we need to put the oven on to 160 degrees before we even start. There's three procedures to this one here. So we need to do a soropi, bake the kata ifi and make custard and then top it off with fresh cream on top. So the first thing you're going to need is a medium saucepan. You need to add sugar to that. You need to add water. You need to add one cinnamon stick and about five whole cloves of uh, cloves. We also need to put a sliver of lemon. And what you need to do with this here, we need to place this onto your stove top. And bring it to the boil. As soon as you see that starts to boil, you switch it off straight away. So from there, we're going to go to our kataifi. So you're going to need a nice pan to do this in. Pretty high if you can get it, because as I said, we're going to do layers in here. So the first thing we're going to need here is we're going to need our shredded pastry, kataifi pastry. And we also need some butter and a pastry brush for this one. So we're going to open up the kataifi. Now with making kataifi, the best is to take it out of your fridge overnight and leave it at room temperature. Um, do not do this straight from the fridge because you'll find that it'll be too hard um, for you to pull apart. And it will actually turn out softer when it's not in the fridge. So leave it out overnight, nothing will happen to it, it'll be great. Then what we need to do is we need to shred all this pastry as much as we can. This will allow our pastry to be nice and fluffy um, as well afterwards. So just pull it apart, have fun, take out all your frustrations now. This is the time to do it, it's good fun. Okay, so just need to shred it all, pull it apart. Um, if you see something clumpy like that, break it up. So pull this all apart and as you can see you get lots out of one packet so don't be tempted to put two because if you put two you get too much unless you've got a bigger tray okay so pull it all apart look at that how beautiful is that lovely so all these strands here pull them all apart separate them nicely Otherwise, you're going to get gluggy pastry after. Once this is done, then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to butter our pan. So I've got butter pan and a pastry brush. So make sure you butter this really, really well. It can be a little bit heavy handed here. Okay, so now we're going to put half of the pastry in our tray, like so. Make sure it's not all stuck together, as I said earlier. So pull it apart. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle some of the butter in between. So drizzle. Do not use your brush, just drizzle. This is a little bit fattening, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's... Okay. And you can't take shortcuts with this, guys. You're gonna have to follow the recipe to the T. So don't think, oh yeah, I'll just put a little bit less butter because it won't work. All right, and then we put the second layer on top of that. Make sure they're not clunky strands. How's that beautiful? All right, so pick up all your pastry off the bench and pop it in your pan. Make sure you get all the corners. Don't miss them. 
Okay. And then with the remaining butter, just again sprinkle that on top. Make sure you cover all of your pastry if you can. Like so. It will take all this butter that I've got in the recipe. Okay. Like so. Okay, so what we need to do from here is we're going to need to pop this into the oven. The oven does need to be at 160 degrees. This will take about one hour to bake. Um, and Meanwhile, while that's baking, then what we've got to do is keep an eye on our syrup. So 160 degrees, guys, for one hour. Okay, I'll get a spoon. So we've got our syrup going here. So as you can see, it's dissolving the sugar. You just want to dissolve the sugar get it to that first boil and then we're going to turn it off and then what we're going to do with this is we're going to set it aside and we want this to cool down because when the kataifi is ready we want the syrup to be cold and the kataifi hot okay so you see here now it started to bubble that's the first boil switch it off so once you've switched it off put it somewhere cool on the side here and just let that cool down okay so then once the kataifu is ready that should be ready the kataifu will be ready and then we'll get started with the custard okay so let's check out kataifu it's been in the oven for an hour at 160 degrees and this is ready and this is the color that we want to achieve a nice golden rich color so what i did for this um video i actually put the syrup in the fridge so we can cool it down quicker so as i said earlier we do need to have the kabaifi hot and we need to have our syrup cold so you can place this in the fridge like i did then what we need to do is carefully spoon this over you hear that sizzle that's exactly what we want to do a beautiful sizzle so pour all of the syrup all over your kataifi and allow that to sit and the kataifi will absorb all that um, syrup that we've placed in there while this is cooling down we're going to move on to our custard so what we're going to need for the custard is we're going to need some milk now don't place i've got a liter of milk here don't put all the milk in at once, I'll only put about 900 ml. So keep a little bit of the milk. To the pot, we're also going to add our sugar. We're going to add some lemon zest. Just the zest of the lemon. And we're we also need a teaspoon of vanilla sugar put in there. We're going to pop this onto our stove top and we're going to bring it up to about room temperature or just warm actually. And just pop that on there and just let it warm up. So while that's warming up, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mix in the eggs. with the remaining milk that I told you to keep and to that we're also going to add our corn flour and we're going to give this a good whisk and make sure that we combine all the corn flour in with the eggs and the milk so that there's no lumps there at all and as you can see over here, the kataifi now is starting to absorb the um, syrup, the syrup.
Okay, so I'm going to bring this around here. Once our pot, our milk in the pot has warmed up, then what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this milk into the egg mixture because we do not want to have scrambled eggs. the stove top off and what we're going to do is we're going to ladle some of this milk and at the same time you're going to be whisking your eggs so adding a little bit at a time As I said before, the reason why we're doing this is because we do not want scrambled eggs, guys. We want a nice, creamy custard. Beautiful. Okay, what we're going to do next is we are going to transfer this egg mixture into the pot and we're going to turn this back on so we're slowly going to pour that into the remaining milk and we're going to continue to keep stirring this until it becomes custard Okay, so we're stirring this in as you can see it's starting to thicken and there's like a foamy layer on top that is normal guys so if you look into here now it's starting to get thicker so just make sure that you keep stirring because you do not want this to stick onto the bottom so it's going to form into a beautiful custard as you can see it's just about there and those bubbles will disappear Okay, so as you can see, we've got the custard here now. It has actually thickened. What we need now is our cube butter. Um, I had this in the fridge. We need to put, add the butter to the custard. This is going to give it a really nice glossy shine to our, our custard, the kateki. And make sure that you mix all the butter in properly. Look at that. Beautiful. I bet you you all can't wait to make this now. <laughs> and I do hope you all give this a go. Look at that. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over to the bench. The next thing we're going to do here is make sure that we take our cinnamon stick and our lemon out, grab a spatula, we're going to pour this over the kapaiti and the syrup, just like so, so that's all going to go into here, making sure that we cover all of the kapaiti base. It into all the corners, make sure you're covering it all properly. Now, make sure you don't wash this straight away because I bet you you're going to see it and you're going to lift it. Mm. Okay. 
What we're gonna need next, <laughs> what we're gonna need next is we're gonna need some mad wrap or cling wrap. We're gonna cover the custard with the cling wrap. The reason why we do this is as it's cooling, this, it's gonna create like a, um, at when, if you don't cover it, it will create like a crusty top and we don't want that. We want it to be a nice smooth top. Don't worry about the glad wrap because it will not stick to the custard when this cools down. It will just peel off. Make sure there's no bubbles. Get into all the corners properly and cover it all. Just like so. Okay. Next, give this a good little cut. Get all the bubbles out of it. Now you have to allow this to cool at least two to three hours um, in the pan. And then what we're gonna do after is we're gonna make the whipped cream and we're gonna finish that off. So you can place it in the fridge to cool down. Okay, so we've had our gataifi um, in the fridge for about three hours now. We're gonna pull this out from the fridge. Oops, a little bit stuck in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually make the final layer now. So before you do the cream, I want you to feel the top and make sure that that is cold. Because if that's not cold and we whip up the cream and we pop it on top, it's going to melt. So as I said to you before, the clean wrap did not stick to the custard. Okay, so we're going to come over to our mixer now. You're going to need um, your cream, which I've got 600 mils of cream here, thickening cream. Do not use light cream for this, you do have to use full strength cream. So that can all go into there. To that we're going to add some vanilla. I don't measure sometimes, I just pour. Sorry. And to that we're also going to add some icing sugar. Using your whisk beater, we're going to beat the cream up. getting thicker now at this stage please do not overbeat your cream otherwise you're going to end up with butter so you just want nice peaks like that okay so pop this over here so now we're going to put our cream over our custard this out. Make sure you get into all the corners. Okay, right to the corners there, to the edge of your pan. Make sure it's all smooth out. And to finish this off, I'm just going to grab some tissue paper, wipe it off there. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to pop some crushed nuts on top. Please make sure you roast your nuts first and then before you crush them, just as I've always said, it just gives it a bit more flavour. Just like so. And I've got a little bit of cinnamon powder here. Grounded. And then you pop this back in the fridge and you leave this overnight if you can. So this is best to be done the day before. So this is beautiful for every occasion out there. And that is our kataifi.